So today's video we're going to be talking about a penicillin allergy. This is where your immune system reacts abnormally to the ingestion of an antibiotic called penicillin. Penicillin works by killing bacteria. It does this through the binding of the beta-lactam ring to a component called DD transpeptidase, and this prevents cell wall production. Because of the lack of cell wall, bacteria can't control the amount of water going into the cell so end up dying. Penicillin can be prescribed for certain bacterial infections, but a portion of the population is allergic to it. The key symptoms if you have a penicillin allergy and take it are skin rushes, hives, fever, swelling, itching, shortness of breath, wheezing, and in severe cases, anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is a life-threatening allergic reaction and there's a widespread severe response from the immune system. Symptoms of anaphylaxis include swelling of the throat causing narrowing, which results in difficulty breathing and swallowing, vomiting, low blood pressure, loss of consciousness, diarrhea and dizziness. There can also be a delayed allergic reaction to penicillin, where you feel the symptoms a few days or a week after taking penicillin. These include cases of Steven Johnson syndrome, where there is blistering of the skin, nephritis, where there is inflammation in the kidneys and it can cause blood in urine and a fever could develop, drug-induced anemia, where there's a reduction in red blood cells, which causes shortness of breath and fatigue. It's important to remember that some side effects may be possible when taking penicillin. These side effects can include nausea, headaches, abdominal pain, urticaria, which means itchiness of the skin. If symptoms are more severe, then you may potentially have an allergy, so it's best to consult your doctor. It's possible to have an allergy test to confirm if you are allergic to penicillin. Any signs of anaphylaxis, including difficulty breathing and swallowing, means you need to call the emergency service. So we've made it to the end of the video. If you've made it all the way to the end, leave a 100 emoji so I know you've made it here. And if you have any questions about a penicillin allergy, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe for more similar videos. And thank you very much for watching.